Okay, this isn't that complicated or complex. Ha <laughs> ha. So here's a central transition metal iron. And if I was to draw out the water molecule, you can see it has a lone pair of electrons that could make a dative covalent bond to this central transition metal iron. So the water is behaving like a ligand. It's donating an electron pair to the central iron. Ammonia, the cyanide iron, and other ions, not necessarily negative, uh, they could be neutral, but never positive, can be ligands because they can donate this lone pair of electrons. Finally, chloride. Alrighty, now what you've formed is a complex once you've added these ligands. They could all be different, they could all be the same, to this central transition metal ion. So, that's what a complex is. It can be an atom, but it's normally an ion. So we have iron 3 plus hexahydrate in this rather manky looking bottle here. So you may notice that the, the uh, iron ones are kind of red, some of them are green, and so when you get bruised, uh, the different colours of bruises are as a result of these central transition metal ions with various uh, very complicated ligands on them. And in fact, uh, even the colour of your faeces and, uh, and mucus is also iron ions with various ligands on them. So to make iron hexahydrate, 3+, plus, there's the equation, and water is a neutral ligand. Some are negative, some are neutral. Okay, so this is iron, 3+, plus, with some cyanides around it, six specifically. Now you can see that's a beautiful red colour there. Uh, now you think if there's cyanide there, it could be really dangerous, but luckily the cyanide ions are bonded, are ligands, uh, to the central transition metal ion, and won't uh, therefore bond to the iron in my blood and cause me dreadful problems. So pop that one back. The equation for that uh, could be iron with six cyanide ions. Now don't forget the cyanide ion is negative and so the complex is also going to be negative. Okay, so the blue solution is still copper two plus ions with six water molecules around it, forming a copper complex, hexahydrate. And the white crystals is a sodium chloride that I'm sure the school bought at great expense uh, from a chemical company uh, when probably salt from the shops would do just as well. So I'm going to add the, uh, the blue solution. And what should happen is there should be a colour change. Lovely. So you can note that the, uh, that the green colour, well that's from some of the chloride ions replacing the water molecules in the copper complex there and if you look at the bottom you should be able to see a yellow coloration and that's a copper two plus ions with with four excuse me four chloride ions around it and that's specifically mentioned in the syllabus so you need to know that the colors this time represent the colors of the complexes and the chemicals present so the light blue color turns to yellow as copper tetrachloride complex is formed and the green colour, well that could be some blue and some yellow, or some chlorides have replaced a few of the, uh, the waters. The ligands have swapped over. Okay, so this is a copper 2 plus iron surrounded by six water molecules. The water molecules are ligands. And now I'm going to try to replace the water molecule ligands with ammonia molecule ligands. So as I pour it in, you can see there's a beautiful colour change there. So the light blue is the hexahydrate and the dark blue, well to some extent some of the water molecules have been replaced by ammonia. Again the colours represent the colours of the complexes. So four ammonia ligands are replacing four water ligands around the central copper 2 plus iron. Now don't forget the square brackets. If you don't put square brackets to show a complex then that's wrong. It's not quite that simple but this is close enough for IB chemistry. And this here is a solution of silver ions with two ammonia molecules around it. Uh, this costs about $100. It took me two or three hours to prepare. And it certainly isn't uh, water I just got out the tap uh, because you wouldn't know the difference. It's a video. And the final one mentioned in the syllabus is silver with two ammonia molecules, which then become uh, ligands when they hit the central silver iron. Don't forget square brackets. Now this one's colourless this complex for reasons you'll find out a bit later.